Christian Lindner, the finance minister of Germany, proposes a plan that, according to him, will change the economy and the real estate market. Here are the main ideas of this plan and their possible impact on real estate. First, put bureaucracy on hold. Lindner proposes to halt the introduction of new rules that hinder business and construction for three years. In other words, Germany will temporarily stop creating laws that complicate life for developers. This could lead to faster and easier construction, with new homes being built in greater numbers. If everything goes well, housing prices may decrease slightly and there will be much more construction. Of course, this is a theory because rules in Germany are like coffee and morning, they are hard to separate. The second, environmental friendliness, but without fanaticism, Germany decides we will not be a lone hero in the climate war. Instead of aiming to become an environmentally friendly country by 2045, as planned, Germany is joining the EU schedule and will achieve its goals by 2050. This will reduce the burden on property owners. They will now have fewer mandatory expenses for improving the energy efficiency of buildings. This means that old houses will not lose value due to the need for urgent modernizations. Third, tax reductions for businesses. The minister proposes to lower taxes for companies, including corporate tax and solidarity tax. This means that businesses will have more money left. This could encourage companies to expand and create demand for commercial real estate. Berlin, as a center for business and startups, may see a revival in the office and business center sector. This is also a positive signal for the rental market. More businesses, more jobs, and more people needing housing. More jobs, more demand for housing. Lindner's plans for labor market reform are aimed at encouraging more people to want to work. This could lead to an increase in demand for rental housing, especially in major cities like Berlin, where jobs are concentrated. If the number of jobs increases, the demand for housing, especially for rentals, will rise. But the question is whether the market can provide enough new housing to meet this demand. 5. The trend towards green homes. Lindner bets on sustainability, but a reasonable kind of sustainability. Real estate with low energy consumption and green technologies will be in demand. Berlin, with its progressive and environmentally conscious audience, is sure to become a center of demand for such properties. Those who can offer green apartments will find themselves in a winning situation, as renters are willing to pay for it. So, what awaits us? If Lindner succeeds in implementing these reforms, the real estate market in Germany especially in Berlin, may change as follows. First, in the short term, one to two years, we may see an acceleration in construction and the emergence of new projects. One, the rise in rental rates and demand and interest in commercial real estate. In the long term, over the next three to five years, the market will become more stable, taxes will decrease, there will be more green homes for businesses, and housing prices will not rise as rapidly. So if Lindner manages to promote his ideas, Germany has a chance to become a country where housing becomes more affordable and businesses can grow without unnecessary pressure. That's all for today. Stay with us, subscribe, like, share, and comment.